What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am bringing you episode number 5 of a team of two halves. Uh, today we are going with a special AFCON man of the match team. Um, one player being Seri D from the Ivory Coast and the other being Fakal Fajou, I believe that's how you say his name, um, from Morocco. Both man of the matches, both in AFCON. Let's build, well we built the team around them. Let's get into it straight away. It's a 4-2-3-1 wide. So we've got left mid and right mid and in goal we start off in the BPL with... Jack Butland's very OP goalkeeper. 81 diving, 85 reflexes, 83 handling, 73 kicking, 79 positioning, 6 foot 5, and uh, everyone's go to choice, really. He is a bit of a beast. Right back, we go for Corchia, and at left back, we go for a silver, and that is Adam Atroyore all the way down there. We'll start off with his stats first. 86 pace, 70 dribbling, 70 defending, 72 physical. He's 5 foot 7, high medium work rates. He's there for chemistry because, you know, Perfect link and all that. Right back, we go for Sebastian Corchia. 77 pace, 78 dribbling, 72 shooting, 81 defending, 81 passing, 77 physical. It's 5 foot 9, high medium work rate, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. 1 assist in 6 games. He should have been played, he should have been played 7 times, but I kind of forgot I bought him and I built a team without him because I didn't really want to buy him because he was quite expensive. It's usually 39,000 coins. So I put another right back in, and then when I was scouting my club, I was just looking at the informs I had in my club, and I realised Coach here was there, so I kind of forgot I actually had him. But, you know, I used him for six games, and he was a pretty decent. Two centre-backs we go for is inform Ryan Shawcross and Eric Bertrand Bailey, not Phil Uh So we'll start off with Shawcross's stats. Inform, 84 rated overall. 56 pace is a bit average, 87 defending and 88 physical is madness. 6 foot 3, medium high work rates, just 20,000 coins. Perfect link to but uh, Butland, strong links to Walker, um, I was about to say Corker then, Walker, Klein, um, Rose, Smalling, everyone, all of those, and he only costs 20k and he's got those sort of stats. Mental. His partner in crime in this team, Eric Bertrand of Bailey from Manchester United, 81 pace, 82 defending and 83 physical, 6 foot 2, high medium work rates, what a beast, absolutely love him. First CDM we go for is the man in question, Seri D, and on the other side we go for a silver, and that is Pajot, I believe is how you pronounce his name. 60 pace, meh, 71 dribbling, 70 passing, 73 defending, 5 foot 9, so he's a bit short, but he's naturally a centre mid. But I wanted to use him over any of the other gold non rares. So we went with him. Medium, medium work rates. Three star week for three star skill moves. He got two goals and two assists in seven games. So he didn't do too badly. Serie D on the other side. 72 pace, 76 dribbling, 82 defending, 70 passing, and 85 physical. Five foot ten, so not the tallest of DM choices, but medium high work rates. 15 and well, 15, 250 is how much it cost me. Didn't contribute to any goals, but how beautiful are these cards they are so nice to look at definitely my favorite card design of fifa so far this year left me we go for another silver and that is a transfer in ola john over to rc rcd deportivo and then at right mid we go for a gold from the league and and it, it is um this guy tanan tan tanani Osama Tanani, I'm going to go with that. 79 pace, 79 dribbling, 75 shooting, 5 foot 10, medium, medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, 1 goal, 3 assists in 7 games. So, didn't do too badly to be honest. And then Ola John on the other side, 80 pace, 78 dribbling, 60, 69 shooting, 72 passing, medium low work rates, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, 1 goal, 1 assist in 7 games. Used to be an absolute tank on previous FIFAs, but he's dropped a little bit. He's, um, his career has taken a bit of a dodgy path. If I'm going to be honest. Can we have the second player um, in this week's Team of Two Halves, or this episode of Team of Two Halves? Fakal Fahir, I don't know how to pronounce his name, playing for Deportivo from Morocco, 70 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting, 86 passing, 70 physical, 5 foot 10, medium, medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, again, 15,250 coins, the same price as Seri D, 4 goals and 2 assists in 7 games. I've completely forgot he had four-star skill moves most of the time throughout the games. Um, so, <laughs> I, completely, I, I didn't really utilise that. I completely forgot. And then the final player, for chemistry reasons, is Andone from RCT, uh, RCD... Like, what are they called? Deportivo La Carina, but just call them Deportivo. 77 pace, 71 dribbling, 75 shooting, 79 uh, physical, 6 foot tall, high medium work rates, 3 star weak for 3 star skill moves, 450 coins, a cheap, bog standard, discard player, 4 goals, 2 assists in 7 games. He didn't do too badly, just needed him there for chemistry really. 
Um, in the last video I did, which would have been the uh, video with the Silver Strikers, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I said with that team it took me ages to get into it, and then I started smashing it. This team, it took it. I smashed it automatically, straight off the bat, and then it just died out. I just couldn't play with this team. I don't know why. For some reason, everyone felt clunky on the ball. They didn't feel good. So, you know, but I'm, I got it done. Played the games, got the goals. Like they'll be at the end, like always. And my description, and my description, and my links to Twitter and Instagram will be down in the description below. I hope you have all enjoyed. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new around here, and I shall see you all next time. Bye, guys. Standing up a mile high Will you fall?